Hello, what's up? What's happening? Welcome back to another Through the Years. Today we have Arian Foster representing those Tennessee Volunteers, those Houston Texans, and those Miami Dolphins. Now we can kick things off in NCAA 06 where he comes in at 82 overall, 90 speed, 87 agility, 92 acceleration, 80 carry, and then a nine, and then an 84, excuse me, for his break. Tackling right there. He broke a whole bunch of tackles. Anyways, his numbers for his freshman year look like this. He played in 11 games as a true freshman. He also had 183 carries for 879 yards. Averaging 4.8 yards a carry. 5 TDs as well. Doing big things as a freshman for the University of Tennessee. Not bad, Arian Foster. Well, let's move on to NCAA 2007 with Reggie Bush on the cover. My man, Arian Foster, comes in at 88 overall. With 91 speed, 88 agility, also comes in with 92 acceleration, 80 for his carry, and then an 89 break tackle. Now, when we get to the 360, that's when you see his trucking, his elusiveness, his ball carrier vision, also his stiff arm, juke movement, stuff like that. But his numbers for his sophomore year look like this. He played in 11 games, but only had nine, only had 91 carries for 322 yards, averaging 3.5 yards a carry. But he still got in the end zone five times. But now let's move on to the 360 version of NCAA 07 where he has an 89 break tackle which stays the same. Matter of fact, all of his attributes stay the same, but again, they add in trucking, elusiveness, and stuff like that. So he had 91 trucking, 75 elusiveness, 90 ball carrier vision, 89 for his stiff arm, 75 for his juke, and then an 88 carry. And of course, he gets a big time catch right there versus the Florida Gators. Now let's move on to NCAA 08 where my man Arian Foster is 88 Overall, so very consistent, man. 92 speed, 89 agility, 93 acceleration, 87 break tackle, 82 trucking, 89 elusiveness, 94 for his ball carrier vision, 80 for his stiff arm, 84 for his spin move, a 95 juke, and then an 86 carry rating for Mr. Arian Foster. Now, his numbers for his junior year look like this. He played in 14 games, ran the ball 245 times for 1,193 yards, averaging 4.9 yards a carry, also had two... Uh, 12 TDs on the ground and then two TDs through the air for a grand total of 14 TDs for that season. Now, a lot of people thought that he should have came out this year, but he decided to stay for his senior season and he had a whole bunch of fumbling issues and the production was not there and that's one of the main reasons why he went undrafted. If he would have came out after his junior season, people were saying that he was most likely a third or fourth round draft pick. That's what people said, not your boy Dawkins. Just letting you know what other guys said in case you didn't know. Now, Anyways, man, let's move on to Madden, not Madden, but NCAA 09. He is 89 overall with 90 speed, 86 for his agility, 93 acceleration, 90 break tackle, 82 trucking, 89 elusiveness, 84 ball carry vision, 80 stiff form, 84 spin move, 93 jerk move, and then an 86 carry. Now, his numbers for his senior year. Look like this. He played in 11 games, so he was banged up just a little bit. He attempted only 131 attempts for 507 yards. He still averaged 4.4 yards a carry, but he only had one TD and no TDs through the air. So you just add that up, and he had a problem hanging on to the football, and that's why he fell when it came to his stock in the draft. Now, when we add up all of his overalls and we divide that G thing by four, we get 87 overall for his video game career as a Tennessee volunteer. Now, anyways, man, let's move on to his rookie season, wearing 37. If you don't believe that he wore 37, look it up. Google. It's, it's, it's free for everybody. Anyways, man, he's 64 overall. Now, he was actually a free agent in Madden 2010, so you have to put him on the Houston Texans and, of course, give him 37 if you're trying to do that. If not, don't even worry about it. Now, let's get back to what we usually do, man. Let's go over the overalls without too many ad-libs. Anyways, man, 64 overall, 82 speed, 84 agility, 78 for his acceleration, 78 for his trucking, 49 for his elusiveness. I had to look at it twice before I said it because I was shocked myself. 72 ball carry vision, 78 stiff arm, 72 spin move, 65 juke move, and then an 80 
carry rating. His numbers for his rookie season, for his rookie season, they look like this. He played in six games, started one of those games, ran the ball 54 times for three TDs and 257 yards. Now, I also want to add that he was on the practice squad for the majority of his rookie season. Now, anyways, man, Madden 11, he's 67 overall with 84 speed, 81 agility, 78 acceleration, 82 trucking, 49 elusiveness, 77 ball carry vision, 81 stiffy, 77 spin move, 66 jump move, and then an 80 carry. His numbers for his second season look like this. He started 13 games, but he played in all 16. He ran the ball 327 times for 1,616 yards, which was a league high, 16 TDs, which was a league high, averaging 4.9 yards per carry and 101 yards per game, which was a league high, and he also scored two TDs through the air. Beasting and feasting. Madden 2012, they gave him some respect at 92. Overall, put some respect on that young man's name. 91 speed, 91 agility, 93 acceleration, 94 trucking, 90 elusiveness, 97 ball carry vision, 87 stiff arm, 84 spin move, 93 jump move with a 92 carry. Now, his numbers for his third year look like this. He played in 13 games, started 13 games. He also ran the ball 278 times for 1,224 yards, 10 TDs, average of 4.4 yards a carry, and 9. 94.2 yards per game. Oh my gosh, Arian Foster doing big top things. And he also had two receiving TDs as well. So he was definitely one of the best running backs in Houston. Okay, I'm lying. He was the best running back in Houston Texans history. But where was he when he was like in his prime, when he was leading the league in touchdowns and rushing yards? Was he a top three back, top five back? Definitely he was a top 10 back. But let me know what you felt down in the comment section below. Anyways, man of 13, nine to six overall for Arian Foster, and that is his highest overall going into Madden. Because again, I'm not doing updated rosters. I'm just going in to Madden when the game first came out. Now, anyways, 96 overall, 92 speed, 94 agility, 96 acceleration, 96 trucking, 92 elusiveness, 98 ball carry vision, 93 stiff arm, 88 spin move, 95 jug moving in the 89 carry. His numbers. For this season, looking like this, he had a league high 351 carries in 16 games. He also rushed for 1,423 yards for a league high 15 TDs, average of 4.1 yards a carry and 89 point or 89 yards per game. Don't have to put the point because this is 89 yards per game. There we go. But he also had a grand total of 17 TDs from scrimmage. Once again, having two TDs through the air. Now, next gen on the PS4. 9 to 5 overall for my man Arian Foster. My man Arian Foster. Got to Foster. Say it with your chest. Foster. Right, I'm sorry. 90 speed. 94 agility, 95 acceleration, 95 trucking, 77 elusiveness, 97 ball carrier vision, 97 stiff arm, 88 spin move, 95 juke move with a 93 carry for my man Arian Foster. Anyways, man, those numbers look like this. He was banged up. He played in only eight games, ran the ball 121 times for 542 yards, just the one TD, but he also had a TD through the air for a grand total of two TDs for that season, averaging 4.5 yards a carry and averaging 67.8 yards per game. So this is when things started to go downhill just a little bit, but don't worry, he would bounce back. He would bounce back. Man of 15, where he is 91 overall with 89 speed, 89 agility, 91 acceleration, 90 trucking, 77 elusiveness, 95 ball carry vision, 96 stiff arm, 87 spin move, 91 jump move, and 94 carry. And if Madden's telling the truth, maybe his elusiveness is the reason why he started to take so many hits and started to wear down a lot quicker than most running backs. And, of course, he did spend all four years in college where a lot of running backs, they spend two, sometimes three, or they get registered to save those legs. Now, anyways, man, let's look at those numbers. Now, the numbers for that year, they look like this. He played in 13 games, ran the ball 260 times for 1,246 yards and eight TDs. Aaron Foster is back. Then he also had 4.8 yards per carry, 95.8 yards per game. And he also had... He also had five TDs through the air. 
Five TDs receiving, doing his thing, man. Just doing his freaking thing. Moving on to Madden 16. He is 91 overall again. 82 speed, though. 91 agility, 85 acceleration, 92 trucking, 76 elusiveness, 96 ball carry vision, 96 stiff arm, 87 spin move, 91 juke move with a 95 carry. Those numbers for the Houston Texans running back for the 2015 season look like this. He played in only 14 games. Once again, he was banged up. But he ran the ball 63 times for 163 yards, 1 TD, averaging 2.6 yards per carry, 40.8 yards per game. But he also had 2 TDs receiving to give him a grand total of 3 TDs for that season. But let's move on to what could be his last Madden, Madden 17 hour. They could have him as a free agent in Madden 18. But I, die, I, I do doubt it. I do. I do. I doubt that. Now, anyways, man, he is 80 overall when Madden 17 first came out. And, of course, he was a free agent, so you got to put him on the Dolphins and stuff like that. You got to cut some people to give him cap room. Madden's dumb. I don't know why he can't negotiate contracts outside of franchise mode, but whatever. Anyways, 80 overall, 86 speed, 87 agility, 86 acceleration, 85 trucking, 74 elusiveness, 89 ball carry vision, 90 stiff arm, 70 spin move, 84 juke moving, and an 80 carry rating. His his numbers for this season look like this, man. He started in just two games out of four. He only had 22 carries for 55 yards, zero TDs. He averaged, though, 2.5 yards a carry and 13.8 yards per game. It's not the best way to go out, but he is still one of the best running backs in Houston Texans history. And, of course, his best, his best game of the season was versus the Seattle Seahawks. But his average overall is 84.5. That's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I'm Enjoy bringing it to you. I'll see you guys next time. I hope the rest of your day is the best of your day. Peace. Hot sauce.